Hello, friends. It is your friend, Crypto Face. And I hope you've all had a good day, past few days. In this video, we're going to talk about why I believe in the next, uh, we'll show why I, I believe in the next day, you know, could be from now till 36 hours, we are going to go up. And we're going to talk about the record loss we had two days ago and how it relates and what we're going to learn from it. Mm. So first, um, You know, whenever, we'll start off with this. Whenever you take a crappy loss, which that loss was bad. Um, in hindsight, it could have been a lot worse because it was basically two days. I mean, two days of, of hard work um, wiped out. And I, you know, even though it was a, a record loss for me, it's technically not like the biggest loss I've had compared to, you know, what I, what I have, I've had bigger losses as far as percentage of net worth, I guess you could say. So it was do dollar amount record loss for me percentage wise, definitely not. You know, three hundred grand is a lot of money. Two hundred seventy-six. Three. We'll call it three hundred. Three hundred grand is is no joke. And when you're you know, I, I don't really need to explain. Uh, I'm sure you guys can can imagine. Um, you guys are are super cool. I tell you what, for Taking that kind of a loss, you know, live stream. Um, I appreciate the amount of adults. I mean, we had probably a record of the least amount of trolls. You know, there's only two or three guys that were talking smack. And, you know, who cares about them? They obviously don't know what they're, you know, what are they going to say? Oh, you lost two days of profit. You know, what about all the rest of your trades kicking ass, you know? Um, I, I'm getting off subject here, though. I'm sorry. Um What happened was a couple things. And this is the risk I take when I live stream. You know, I want to be entertaining and I am do I, I want to do my part. You know, I want to help push Bitcoin up and you know, we <laughs> if you go to the stream by the way, this was right here. Let me put an arrow here. This is where we were streaming and where the shit hit the fan. So let's talk about it. So we were long from, I don't remember when, but you know, I was up, I think a, a couple times, maybe a couple hundred grand in profit in the trade or 130 or something like that. And, you know, you guys always hear me say that I don't believe in targets most of the time. And I believe having a target most of the time is harmful. And, this was a prime example. During the stream, when I saw the momentum wave clip, I we even saw it coming. I said, we're going into sell pressure. My philosophy is most of the time, you, you're, you're not going to be able to guess the target. It's Bitcoin doesn't care where you think it's going to go. But what we are able to do is know the direction 
I am able to know very, very accurately with Market Cipher if it's going to go down or up. But we don't know how much. So last night on the stream, I said, you know, I, I assumed, you know, that screw it. I'm going to stick it through and, you know, I don't think maybe it'll just go to 9,700 and, and, you know, what we're going to keep going up. We were talking about Anthony Pompliano, want to be on the Pompliano. Maybe if I make a million bucks. So my target was I wanted to make a million dollars in one trade. So I'm holding it. And I ignored my indications. So that's number one. Number two is I have a problem. You know, I'm human. And I have a problem when some dweeb is in the chat and says, you got to get out. Get out, man. Exit, man. Even if they're right. And it's the worst part is if they're right, my indicator shows it. I have a problem with authority and doing the opposite of what someone tells me to do. So that's, an, that's number two. Is screw that. Screw that. Where if they say, good, stay in, then I want to go out. If they say, go out, then I want to stay in. That's just a characteristic of, of me. And I've been that way my whole life. Now, this is something, you know, it's, if you, it's, I know what I'm getting myself into. You know, I, it's something I have to handle when I'm trading, when I'm live stream trading. And for the most part, you know, I do. Um, but you guys, for those of you who've been around, you hear me say all the time, take the money, especially now. Especially now. Especially now. God, with the cell walls and where we're at. And this was the dumbest time to hold on to a trade. But again, I'm only human once in a while making a mistake. And I want to entertain you know, I, I, I have, I, I told you guys how I got, I got cash. I got money ready to eat into that cell, that $20,000 cell wall. Even if I have to take a loss, cause I want to do my part. I want to do my part and I want everyone to win and be happy. Mm. Now, if I wasn't live streaming, when we saw, when I saw this momentum wave, this red dot right here, clip, and knowing that how high this momentum wave is, and this is a skinny one, this shit's coming down. I would have taken at least some profit, maybe not all of it, probably not all of it, but a good chunk, one third, one half. Because the philosophy and why I am so, why I am successful, why I am profitable in this year has been the most profitable year in my life of trading. If I wasn't streaming, I would have taken some profits, at least, if not close the damn thing. Because it's about fishing. You're going to catch the little fish. And you're going to get the big ones too. You're going to get lucky. The, the big moves when Bitcoin goes, so it'll do 100 or 300. And then sometimes it'll go bam. And it does that one move, does 1,000. But take the money and who cares if you exit and it keeps going? Who cares? It's about, it's about accumulating. But in this instance, two days ago on the live stream, I ignored my own rules. I ignored my indicator, even when we said it, we said we're going in, it's, it's going into the, it's red time. And sometimes I am able to have targets and I am able to line things up and have a good idea of where the price will be. But most of the time I don't. And most of the time you won't either. And if I am not able to know the exact price that Bitcoin's going to go to, most of the time, I guarantee you're behind and whoever else you're watching out there doesn't either. But guess what though? We, the, the, it, as long as you know the direction it's going to go, 
Is it going to start to go up or is it going to start to go down? That is all you need to know to make buku profits and the, the world is your oyster if you have discipline and you don't break your own rules, you don't ignore your damn self, you don't get caught up in, you know, Mm. So that being said, I'm not making excuses. I'm not here making excuses. I'm not blaming anyone, the live stream and Samuel who said, I'm not blaming Samuel. I only blame myself. That's nothing you can only, that's also why I'm, I'm a, that's also why I believe I am a profitable kick ass trader and i'm saying that in the most humble way but i i would say the same thing if i saw someone else doing what i do i would say the same thing about them so i can say it about myself but uh again the other night broke my own rules and it doesn't matter the reason at the end of the day i broke my own rules and i paid the price this time the price was two hundred seventy six thousand. 300 grand, two days, two long days of staying up and, you know, it's, um, which, you know, whatever. Now, walked away chilled. I played video games. I didn't try to revenge trade that night. That's the worst thing you can do to spiral your, to spiral yourself down and and you'll keep losing if you try to revenge trade after a big loss you're gonna lose everything don't get trade drunk don't get trade drunk it's i've done it before so thankfully I, I i'm i'm i know that much now anywho the reason why we're talking about this is because i believe Hey, we're going to talk about, yes, I believe Bitcoin is going to go up. I don't know how far. I don't know if we're going to break the 20K and go to 23, 24. Or if we're just, let me clear this shit. If we're just going to go up to 19.7, the point is, who cares? All that matters is that we get in, it starts going up, and we start taking profits. It's all that matters. And we exit if and when we see the signs that there's going to be a move to the opposite direction. Whether you take some profit or you exit it all, you can determine that when the time comes. Now, mm. Pompliano. We wanted to be on Pompiano. I should be on Pompiano. What the hell? Someone tell Pompiano to bring my ass on there. Pompiano! Come on! Um, I haven't heard back from the Guinness Book of World Records, by the way. But now, hell, maybe I can not only have the most profitable trade ever done on live stream, but also the biggest loser on live stream. I would love to. I would love to. To have the biggest win and the biggest loser ever on live stream. So hopefully that can come true. So here's my point. Bullet points. Get this target thing out of your head. Screw your targets. Bitcoin doesn't care. Your stocks, Tesla doesn't care. Screw your targets. Yeah, you can have an idea, and we're always measuring to kind of get an idea, but things change. There is a human factor. If some Chinese whale just decides to sell or buy for whatever reason, maybe he's drunk, things change. And then it'll show you, Market Cipher will show you the impact. And, you know, the other week, I was able to manipulate the market twice within two hours. And if you don't believe me, go see it yourself. 
we dumped the price of Bitcoin $1,000. And about an hour later, just to see if it was real, we dumped it again, 300. It's on the live stream. Check it yourself. There was thousands of people there live that saw it all. So, if I know, if, if, if I'm able to do that, there's other people that are able to do it too. A good handful of them. <laughs> so, this next move. Uh, this morning for, ooh, what the hell did I just click? Am I still recording? Okay, good. Uh, let's take a look see. So this morning in the whale crew, let's see here. Okay, so this morning, um, I saw at, what was the price? At 18,996, I said, yo, Bitcoin, I believe is gonna go up 100 to 300 bucks. Then, and I'm gonna go take a nap. It did. I mean, pretty much to the T, went up literally $300. So that was a good start to the day. And now we are seeing a couple things. So let's talk about why I believe we're going to go up in a decent amount. Take a look at the hourly. We have our momentum wave snake eyes. We like these. Two, one, two, tight, tight momentum waves on the zero line, which in the bullish times is, this is support right here. That is a sign that momentum, it is support. The bulls are supporting the price action and we are going to pop to the upside. Now, what I like about this hourly Let's go ahead and circle it. This pattern right here is, let's go back to this last, the last time it happened. Very similar. And this is just one time frame. We've been seeing this happen for a long time now. This happens all the time. So let's go ahead and uh, scrunchy together. Oops. I know it's going to be a little messy, but I, I want to keep it on the one hour. We want to compare and contrast. So right here, we have our two tight right here. And look, we had just a big fat green wave. Came down, just pop. Big green wave right, right down. Now on this last one, if we measure, so even though I say targets, get targets out of your head, I'm still, we're still going to want to try to get an idea of when it could happen. And yeah, we're going to measure and see. But again, if at the time when, 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 when we start seeing shit, you're always going to, you're going to take profits. Okay. So let me zoom in. So last time on the second momentum wave. So right here. How long did it take for us to like really start moving up, right? So we danced around and right here, I'd say on this candle, one day and eight hours later, we began to move to the upside. It's a very similar pattern on the chart, on the candles, on our waves, on oscillations. And we know Bitcoin, it loves to repeat the same things, the same patterns within the, the past month or past two weeks. It takes this, it'll take three or four patterns, three or four characteristics and repeat them on all time frames. It's a beautiful thing. So now, let's clear this. We had a nice fatty green coming down and we are at the zero line and it's nope, nope. It's holding. So, I'm going to guess, I'm just going to assume that we have a, a day or somewhere within for the same thing to happen. 
Now, you can take your ley lines, that's what I call them, ley lines, your important lines, and you can play around, fiddly fart around. See, boom, I did that. Boom, and this was well, so well. And then we took this one, bang, and bang. These are the lines that I've been having on the past few days. G give or take. I think it was a little, it was, it was close enough. So guess what? I'm long right now, right? So, so I'm going to be looking to definitely take this area in the 9700s. This is going to be a, a, at least a profit taking area. Maybe a little bit above it. At 20,000, maybe a little bit below it. 19.6, we're going to spread it around. We're going to spread it around, baby. Spread it around. No one says you have to exit all at one time. This is one thing about stop losses that always intrigues me with people. When people use their stop losses, they have it all out in one part. If you have your stop, why don't you, you can spread a stop loss. You know, you don't have to do your whole trade at one place and bang yourself. You can spread your stop losses too, okay? Just as a side note. Let's get rid of this. So, again, what is most important, we do not know. I don't know if it's going to break 20K tomorrow, if it's going to go to 24, if it's going to go to 30 grand, if it's going to go to 19.7. To but what I do feel very confidently, what I can say, is the direction should be up. And as long as we develop that cushion, as long as we get in, we get that cushion, which we did, entries 19.2, or whatever it is, 18... Um, 18,009, basically 19 grand. You know, you have cushion or whatever your entry is, whatever it is. So my guess is that over the next day, plus or minus 12 hours, we're going to have a nice move up. Yeah. Says we're talking about patterns. We are, so we'll take this one, boom. And then this one, right? Boom. These are like charged up little guns. It sprung, see what? Boom, it dropped, and then it springs. It's, it sprung, it came down, it sprang, it sprang, it. And it's the same thing, it's the same thing. Look, we, we, we. Boom, came down, it's it's springing. This is going to push, dude. It's going to push. And these momentum waves are backing it up. Backing it up. And we might come down here to the high teens. I, I, I think 19 would be like the lowest or somewhere close. But this is springing, man. It's springing. It's springing. And look. It's been doing the same. It's just it's just more of the same. Look at all these little springs. Like, boop, boop, boop. It's just spring up, spring up. This is looking like another spring up to me. Who cares about targets? All they do is, for me, get me in trouble. And you know what? I'm... Be damned, they, I, I'm willing to say the same thing about you because what do they say? 90% of traders don't lose all their money. Well, I'm not of that 90%. In fact, I am of the probably the one to 1%. I'm not just profitable, I'm, I'm really profitable. And I say, screw targets. If your indicators show you 
that there's going to be some sell. Take some damn profit. And when it clips down and shows going to go, then you can get back in. Discipline. And then maybe once you acquire those skills, once you familiar, once you get familiar with how things are, sure you'll be able to have accurate targets. Timing. So. Uh, I appreciate you guys, man. And, um, yeah, it's crazy that that's, I it didn't even, it's funny. It didn't even feel like it. I it didn't even feel like that was my, I was like, damn, that's my, that's my biggest loss ever. That's my big, that was my biggest loss ever. And it was two days of profits. Pfft, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what? This loss, honestly, this is, uh, it, it actually feels good. Um, and I think a lot of people, it feels good too. Like, damn, CF ain't just, CF ain't full of shit. Kind of. I mean, it's just, there's, a, there's a few people I would know, a few women in particular. I'd be like, You're, you know, would disagree with you. Mm. It ain't easy. And to the people that hate and say, oh, I told you, oh, see, oh, you, he's just, you should trade her. You guys are the reason why people don't want to show. Because cause it's, it's hard. And you get pinned to the, you, you really get nailed to the cross. But I must say, um, you know, we had thousands, what, thousands of people that, that saw me take, take a big loss and, just a handful said stupid stuff. That's pretty cool. That means we have a really awesome community. And I I uh, am so thankful for that, man. I'm I'm really thankful. So I'm long. Another thing. Someone um so so that 300k Right, we'll call it 300k. I am not trying to make that all back in one trade. Going, oh, I need to make it back all in one trade, or I will destruct myself. What I am doing is, I said, all right. My goal is to, you know, you know, and, and even screw. I don't even have that goal. Screw the targets and goals. But you know what? If I instead of holding a trade until it tries to make one trade, 300k. If I if I make forty or fifty k, and I'm get, if I'm up fifty grand and I'm getting exit signs, I'm going to sell. I'm going to take the money because guess what? To my surprise, in two or three trades, I'll have that three hundred back because I'm going to be making good moves. And since I'm exiting at the right places, I'm going to have more profitable, more profit, more profit, and it adds up fast, man. When I trade lower amounts lower risk and and i take my profits it's like two or three in two or three trades i i make that huge amount that i was going for it's like magic how it works and and you don't believe it until you see it like you don't believe it until you see it. like what really it adds up like that because because you're making you're slicing that pig at least with market cipher we're able to I don't know about, you know, everything else, but um, GoDaddy was having server issues, man. Their, oh, everyone's site was screwed up and down, so the website's back. It was GoDaddy bullshit. The sale's still on. Um, I just want to say, you know, again, thank you, and I'm good. We're, 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 we're all good, and... Uh, yeah, I'm I'm in a long, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. Cheers.
And hopefully we all learn something from my mistakes. Peace.